New at 5.30, it's no secret Michaela Bauer shot her longtime boyfriend, Ray Ingram. Now, the question is whether she killed the owner of Jay's Place in a rage of jealousy or in terrified self-defense. Closing arguments wrapped up today in the Bowers trial, and now jury deliberations are underway. 17's Vanessa Dillon joins us in our studio with details. Vanessa? Well, Jim, prosecutors say Michaela Bowers killed Ingram after finding out about his ongoing infidelity. But the defense says she shot Ingram in self-defense after tolerating decades of physical, emotional, and mental abuse. As a trial connecting 52-year-old Michaela Bowers to the shooting of Jay's place owner Ray Ingram, all eyes were on the woman the defense says is an obvious sign of a victim of domestic violence. During the defense's closing argument, Bowers wept as her attorney spent hours walking jurors through decades of alleged abuse by Ingram. But before her attorney David Torres presented his closing arguments, prosecutor John Allen told jurors Bowers killed Ingram after she became fed up with his patterns of infidelity. The prosecution also played the 911 recording from the day Bowers shot Ingram inside her home in southwest Bakersfield. Allen argued Bowers sounded indifferent when she called authorities. He said she planned to kill Ingram the day he stepped inside her home. He told jurors that ultimately she was fed up with a decades-long relationship with a cheater who didn't want to commit to her. But Torres says her motive is anything but jealousy, adding the killing was a clear case of self-defense. The defense says Ingram repeatedly cursed and yelled at Bowers the day she shot him, repeatedly saying he was going to kill her. Now, Torres says the evidence points to a woman dealing with decades of emotional and psychological trauma as a result of her abusive relationship with Ingram. Now, closing arguments concluded today and jury deliberations are now underway. Bowers was charged with first-degree murder. If she's found guilty, she faces life in prison. Her retrial is a result of a jury deadlock back in March. The jury hung 11 to 1 in favor of finding her guilty of second-degree murder. In the newsroom, I'm Vanessa Dillon, 17 News.